Happy February, folks. Things are hopping in the DC metro area real estate world as we move into the spring market. Inventory is low and competition is hot. So let us show you what's going on and what that means if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate. As always, thank you for the opportunity to be your trusted advisors in the real estate space. We want to serve you and the people you care about. Let's start out by taking a look at interest rates, which steadied a bit since their initial drop at the end of 2023. Stronger than expected employment and inflation reports seem to have halted the further drop in interest rates recently. While rates have steadied for the moment, Freddie Mac predicts that rates will drop into the low sixes by the end of the year. This is good news for buyers as lower rates provide lower mortgage payments and opportunities to refinance for those who bought over the past year at higher rates. There's an interesting phenomenon happening right now that I want to take a look at. When interest rates shot up too quickly last year, almost everyone predicted home prices would go down or at least stabilize, but they didn't. Take a look. Average sales prices stayed high and continued on their trend upward, even with the higher rates. In fact, even considering the little dip we saw last month, home prices are up about 5% compared to this time last year which is actually higher than the 4.86% appreciation the real estate market has averaged since 1980, showing the relentless demand for housing has fought off the challenges of higher rates. The rising prices are largely due to the severe lack of options for buyers. There's just not enough homes to meet demand. While we saw a slight uptick last month, the number of active listings for single family and townhomes is still 7% lower than this time last year. The condo market is the exception with inventory up 5% over last year, but the number is still low compared to historical standards. The good news for buyers is that we are seeing some more homes on the market. Across all home types, we saw a whopping increase of 1,669 homes added to the greater DC area market this month. However, even with this increase, the number of new listings posted was still approximately 15% lower than this time last year. So we still have a ways to go. So where will prices go? Well, experts are all over the map, from predictions of 5% gains to 1.7% losses. With high demand and low supply though, we're seeing all but one source predict continued home price appreciation this year, with the average consensus being a 2.7% increase. Interestingly, most of the sources were predicting much lower numbers last year but you can see that almost all of them adjusted their numbers higher due to the strength of the market, including Goldman Sachs, changing from a prediction of 1.9% to 5% this year. So this is where the strange phenomenon comes in. We have a chicken and the egg problem. What comes first? If home supply is low, prices will continue to rise. If prices rise, inflation will continue to appear high because home prices are a big component of the inflation calculation. If inflation stays high, interest rates will stay high because high interest rates are supposed to combat inflation. And if interest rates stay high, housing supply will stay low because sellers aren't going to sell if they can't afford a new mortgage on a new home. So we are in a little bit of a pickle. Not that kind of pickle, that kind. Something is going to have to break to change this compounding effect, and it's going to be interesting to say the least. Here's the bottom line though. If you're a buyer, real estate remains a great long-term investment. There's no other asset that everyone needs, and the only other alternative, renting, also continues to rise in cost. With the annual appreciation of 4.8%, the average home bought 30 years ago is now up 297%. Now the market is challenging, I get that, but this is a great time for first-time buyers to get into something affordable, maybe a condo that's gone down in value a little bit, and start to build equity. There's also some really interesting incentives right now for first-time buyers some with up to $15,000 in cash for your down payment. Call us for details on that. If you're a seller, even with the slight downtrend in average sales prices for homes this month, prices are still really high and you are in a great spot. But with more competition and inventory in the market, it's important to position your house well for that high value sale. If you aren't sure if you should move or upgrade your current home, we have a great program called Renovate or Relocate which can help you determine whether it's in your best interest to update your current home or relocate it elsewhere to meet the needs of you and your family. We introduce you to contractors, we run the numbers, it's great, give us a call for details. As the spring market heats up, please know that we're always here for you and are happy to schedule a free consultation to help you figure out whether you wanna upgrade, downsize, move, relocate, build, or invest in real estate. Ultimately, we wanna help you find the best home that meets your needs and is best for you and your future.